I'm ashamed to admit that I don't own the 1991 Robert Mulligan directed film The Man in the Moon. This man had directed so many classics To Kill a Mockingbird, Summer of 42, and The Man in the Moon was his final film. And he just seemed to get youth. He seemed to understand it. Shot in Louisiana, this is a beautiful coming of age film with wonderful performances, beautiful cinematography by Freddie Francis, a terrific score by James Newton Howard. But what this film is most known for is that it's the first film of Reese Witherspoon, 14 years old. And you watch her in this film, she's so good, she's so natural, she's so real. You think she had been acting since she was like three. You never given this, do you? No. Good. I like that. Are you coming? Jason London is wonderful as the boy she falls in love with, and Emily Warfield is equally as good as her sweet sister. Tess Harper, another reliable, wonderful character actress, is terrific as the mother, and Sam Waterson, fantastic as the father. She's hurting bad right now. Hurting as much as you. Maybe more. That was Gail Strickland, who also lends solid support. This film has heart. You will laugh and you will cry. It is beautifully done. And if there is a last film that Robert Mulligan had to make and a first film that Reese Witherspoon had to be in, this is the perfect one. The Man of the Moon from 1991, a film that should not be forgotten.